So if you go back to video 247, do-it-yourself rod balancer for arc racing rods. And I told you where to go get this stuff, and I think it cost 25 bucks. Well, it took three weeks to get here from China, and it's here. Okay, so what I'd identified was these cool little bearings that already had this big old bolt hook to them, and they fit right inside the rods, and this little tiny one, okay? And we can make a uh, piston balancing stand out of this stuff, 25 bucks, <laughs> okay? And so this, this has not been done, and the crankshaft is in the mail, UPS to piles to be uh, balanced. And so, you know, when you balance these, you have to balance, you know, both of them together and make sure they're the same they work. But then you got to get this back end level and weigh the front. And both of them need to be the same. And if they're not, you need to correct it. So I've got to do that tonight now because the crankshaft is on its way to South Carolina via UPS. And I'm pretty sure that when I actually uh, measure this, they're going to be the same. I think ARC's got this down to a science and they're perfect. But if they're off by however much and I have to do something, then, uh, and I don't think I'm going to have to because ARC even has some instructions about don't grind this, don't grind that because I think they're balanced already. But we're going to check it. And uh, so worst case scenario is, uh, oh my God, there's five grams between these and I got to change it and now uh, all the rods are five grams off and so I got to tell pal hey they're five grams off but you know he won't get it till Thursday and he's probably not gonna work on Thursday and it's uh, Tuesday so I've got I got 48 hours to figure this out so anyhow I just want to let you know these look pretty good uh, that's a bearing I don't know what the hell these are used for they use an industry somewhere but I found them and they were like a hundred bucks in the United States for this one and it's 50 bucks for that one I got them both including shipping twenty four dollars and fifty nine cents off eBay um, and, and it fits pretty good because it's not going to get exactly right. But, you know, it put a little electrical tape or Teflon tape around the outside to gap it up a little bit. But they're, they're real, real, real close, okay, to, to being perfect. So if you weren't using arc rods, you were using, like, uh, I don't know what else the hell you'd use. And you needed to make a balancer for a Briggs & Stratton. Uh, well, you can't beat this. Here you go. I mean, I could probably put this on a stand and put it on eBay professional Briggs and Stratton rod balancer $300 <laughs> with a little metal stand underneath of it and people would buy it you know so if you're wondering if you would get what I get what you paid for and all that yeah you get what you paid for this little sucker is about two pounds okay things really heavy so there you go you do it yourself rod balancer core components Confirmed they fit.